This is an American toad. It's a small butter. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, you can. Now, you see those big bumps on the back of the frog? Be a, toads are really a kind of frog, too. Now, those things on his, those bumps on him are not warts. Everybody thinks they're warts, but they're not warts. Those are actually glands. And since they are on there and on the outside, you might say, well, why does he have all those big old glands sticking out all over? Him? Now, what it's for, now I, I need to do this carefully so I don't get it on anybody, because the stuff that's, the stuff that's in those glands is some bad stuff called bouffant. And I'm going to squeeze this just a little bit, but when I squeeze it, sometimes it pops out. And I do not want it to get in your eye or anything like that. I don't squeeze him today. No, I'm not squeezing him. I'm just pinching his little. There, you see that liquid come out of there? Uh -huh. yeah, that liquid coming out of there is the stuff that is called bouffantin. And that bouffantin stuff is really a bad, <laughs> nasty <laughs> chemical that if you tasted of it, it'd be the awfulest thing. And it's also something you do not want to swallow a toad because that it's stuff's now, a little bit toxic. So, in fact, I have seen little green herons mm -hmm. come down here when these little frogs, these little toads are hopping all around. Mm -hmm. And I've Jeez. seen little green herons come and grab one and just swallow it down. I thought, well, this ought to be interesting. Mm -hmm. And little green heron goes around and starts looking for them. All of a sudden, okay. stops, looks up. He starts jumping around, yeah, kind of all crazy like, and he goes, Whoa. <laughs> and he flies away. And I go down there, and there sits that little toad crawling out of this big slimy gobby thing that the bird threw up. And the toad, by that time, has gotten all kind of whitish liquidy, because the stuff makes a whitish liquid when it comes in contact with the air a little while. And the little toad, sometimes it kills them, sometimes it don't. But that green heron will not eat a toad again.